Well, of course, many people in central Kentucky are familiar with Jarrett's Joy Cart. For 13 years, the carts have been rolling at the Kentucky Children's Hospital and other hospitals around the nation, delivering toys to patients. It's amazing what was started. The project began as an idea from nine-year-old Jarrett Minear, who battled a rare bone cancer until his death in 2002. But his inspirational story captured the nation's attention. It led to numerous national awards, TV appearances, and a book as well. And now his story is about to become a feature film. Here to tell us more about it, the director and co-author of the movie, Jeff Day, and Jarrett Minear's mother, Jennifer Minear. Thank you all very much for coming in. Oh, thanks for having us. Thanks very much. So you, you have started this project. What inspired you? Well, we, when we read, first read Jarrett's story, it, just, it was amazing that, uh, that someone uh, his age would have such an insight to uh, want to help other people in spite of what he was doing. He learned very quickly that helping other people was really the greatest gift, to, even to himself. It brought him the most joy. And that, that really inspired us with the story, with, his, with, with the way he approached life. And where are you in the process of, uh, of making the movie right now? Well, right now we're in what we call pre-production. Mm -hmm. um, we are uh, working with, uh, we've been working with Sony Pictures for the last year on developing the script, getting it where it needs to be. And we are uh, working on with some corporate sponsors to do a one night uh, premiere kickoff theatrical event in 450 plus cities where we'll celebrate each hero from that, uh, that city as well uh, during this premiere. And um, we're also accepting donations now for, for uh, part of the budget, spe specific parts of the budget, and um, just getting the word out now. So there's a lot of work to be done, a lot of groundwork to lay uh, for this project. Um, and it's just very exciting. I know it's, it's going to be a wonderful project. Jennifer, what did you think when you were first approached about this? Well, Doug and I weren't quite sure what to think at first. And after we did some homework and did some, got some time to soul search and really got the, the feeling that Jeff and Tom have Jarrett's best interest at heart and want to capture the true essence. It's not a story about a little sick boy, it's a story about a message. And they really captured, have captured that, so we're really excited about it. Jennifer, it's been nearly 10 years and uh, Jarrett was taken from all of us too soon, but is, uh, do you think he would be very pleased that the joy card effort has gone on? Well, after he quit laughing about it, I think he would think it was hilarious, but I think he would be so excited that that we have kept it going and so touched that everybody continues to support it and hopefully what Lucky Day Studios and Jeff and Tom are doing will move that forward and call other people to action. And so if people do want to take part, if they want to be able to donate to the project, it's it's LuckyDayStudios.com. There's right the there. website. Good luck with the uh final cut. We'll be looking forward to it. Great. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you for having us. Please.